Hey, you guys, I have really been on the go of late and I've been trying my best to wait till I get back home to speak with you guys because, um, you know, social media or anything like that doesn't pull and draw me away. But I wanted to finish and make a part two because my video cut off and start off by saying, you know, I don't have a TV in my house and I let God speak to me and I'm quiet. And there's a few things in my life that I want to exchange the voices of the world for the voices of God. And then, you know, there's a lot of people when they're hearing the things I'm saying, it convicts them and they go, you know, Minister Q, what should I do? And, you know, just ask God to forgive you. It's a love message. It doesn't matter how many people come on the page, you know, trying to distract you, distract us. You know, just know that I don't have any anger against anyone. I try to speak truth if someone, whatever's coming up for that particular day. Um, but if it's detouring, y'all let me know. But for me, I am at peace. I love God. And I know what God has shown me since I was a teenager. And this is the time and the time is now. And I remember telling you guys, I was so upset at God for talking to me on my mom's couch saying, those who have the mark aren't mine. You know, they are slowly releasing this. It's going to be in trickery ways that you never <coughs> thought that, excuse me, would come. And it's going to test your faith, but God gave his word and, he, and he's solid foundation. I, I said to you guys that I want to start praying because what else is there to say from everything that I've said? What else is there to say? You ever been somewhere and you ran out of time? You ran out of time and you're not giving any more training. You're not giving any more this, this, this and that. And time is out. No more for the test. No more for whatever the case is. You just got to go through and figure it out from what you know. The, you know, uh, California is trying to ban Bibles. And, you know, eventually when these things start coming to pass, if you don't know the word of God and if they start saying you got to have a, a chip to read YouTube and you got to have a chip. You know, how are we going to reach each other? That's the kind of things I'm trying to say. If we're separated off, I had a dream that an angel said they're, they're, they're pulling people and taking them off to different cities and town, uh, and towns and they're killing them. This was a long time ago. They were taking people from this city to that city, moving people around. Things had got so bad that whatever place that they had for all the poor people, if you had to move to uh, Arkansas, they, you know, exchanged Austin for the rich people. They took Dallas for people who could be all white. They took Houston for people who could be all Hispanic. You know, there's certain designations and different things that's going to cause people to move, you know, things that you never thought would come like, okay, well, this is where you go and get your help. Don't you go to the food stamp office and they go, I want help for my family. Oh, okay. Well, you got to go down to Rutherford to get help. So you know how it is at certain places that are segregated off and you go into a suburban and a poor neighborhood. This girl was telling me about Detroit. You know, there's, they don't even accept people who are interracial really. You know, they got to stick to themselves and 20 minutes down the road, one way is rich, 20 minutes down the road, the other way to the right, it's uh, all um, poor, you know, rich and poor, different places. And when they start taking things and when they start, you know, you, you, your law start moving and switching and going and you're like, oh my gosh, I never thought this would happen. You're going to go, where is God? Then you get angry and you start blaming God. Well, there's no more help in Austin or no more help in Texas. You got to go up here to Detroit to get help for all these kind of services. Yeah, you literally have to move you and your family. You know, we, we ran out of help over here in these cities and you got to move all over here. You don't think that for whatever reason, for certain things to happen to take place, mind blowing things that's going to happen to believers. You know, it's either you take the mark and, and stay living here because this whole uh, city is, is for the mark. And the ones where you can live comfortably is over here in the slums over here in Dallas. You can you can move over here in Dallas. There's no running water over there or whatever, but you can move over here for the ones that are outcasts, right? Because the people who don't have the mark as things go up, like I said, it's almost like you got to have insurance or how you get your renter's insurance to make sure everything is okay. That mark is being slanged around like insurance. Insurance for your health, insurance for this and that. And guess what? A lot of people will give in. Why? You better start having some power and not having a form of godliness and denying the power thereof. thereof. Why? Because if your family member has cancer. They're not going to want to sit there and go through cancer and the pain without medication, without chemo. They're going to scan their arm. <coughs> Somebody who has a brain tumor. 
somebody who needs their medication for diabetes we're so hooked on to the world you know sometimes I ask myself and I tell myself in my head I don't have to give powerful powerful messages on YouTube this this channel was to say wake up wake up everybody wake up everyone this is how I've been since a kid this is how the Lord treats me and uses me and I'm just confirming with the rest of everyone else every believer and we're all jacked up and messed up if anyone think that they haven't come short of the glory of God or their righteousness is not filthy rags you should come from amongst them <coughs> if you got people who are focusing their time and putting hatred against you and they're thinking they're gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven not loving their enemy and not trying to love and pray for you you let God deal with them you let God deal with them pray for them and some people can't intermingle and be friends and some people can't do certain things I've done that time after time after time after time again and it's, it's, it's always come to a failing but Jesus is my closest friend and here's the thing about this <coughs> A prophet is without honor in their own uh, hometown. Start thinking along the lines of all the things that I just said. Sometimes, you ever hear someone say, I never thought about it like that. I'm telling you. You don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to go down. That's why you say pray and stay and be ready. Because God could already tell you to move to another uh, city in a state. Because your city could be the one that's going to be fully chipped or whatever the case may be. We're going to continue to talk about deep things. But what is God calling for the most of all? Return to him, prayer and repentance Reading the word of God Just in case they take our Bibles away You guys be blessed tonight